Hey, what's up everyone? I'm going to show you how to make that sort of that rising sound that kind of sounds like someone blowing into an empty beer bottle. Um, I've had a couple of requests for it and um, it's also it's a very popular synth at the minute. Um, I use it in pretty much all my songs right now as well. Um, and it's pretty easy to make. Um, you do get samples of it, but it's a lot better and more versatile if you actually make the synth yourself. So first, you want to make a combinator with a 4 in it. And then, ignore the pitch range at the minute, I'll explain a bit about that at the end. Go make 3 oscillators, first 2 multi, and last 1 noise. Um, in the first one, change the, the octave up to 5 and the tune you're going to want at 12. Um, let's put it to random 2 and change the wave shape to square and put the amount of detune up to 42. For the second one, put it up to 5. The tune you're going to make minus 12 so you get a bit of spread with them too. Change it to square wave as well, leave it at random 1 and put it up to 32. For the final one, then I want to put up, uh, the noise oscillator up to 5 as well, change it to band and put the tune up to 16. Um, okay. uh, next you're going to move to the mixer and you're going to want to change the oscillator 1 and 2 balance to 102 and bring the third level oscillator 3 level down quite a lot to about minus 13 minus 13.4 um, then activate all three um, all three oscillators to this mixer uh, this filter sorry change it to state variable and change it to notch and make sure that's at 66 now for the frequency you're going to want to change it or leave it sorry at 2.09 kilohertz resonance you're going to want to bring up to 87 And that's about it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say the shaper, which is very important for um, this sound. Turn on and change it to sine, and then put the drive up to 96. And then if we move on to these filters, filter envelope, put everything up and bring the attack right the way down and then for the amp envelope you're going to want to bring the sustain all the way up and the release right the way down and that's basically it for the envelope we're going to make a uh, third filter sorry we're going to make a state variable and we're going to use the high pass setting and if you bring the amount down to actually that's not even I don't think you need to do that um right so if you bring this down to about 427 hertz all it's going to do is everything at 427 hertz and below is going to be filtered out by here so it's not messing up your kick drums or your uh, bass line or whatever and leave the res at zero as well and the last thing we'll do in the synth is turn the chorus on uh, the delay you're going to want to bring down to 9.1 milliseconds the feedback you're going to want at 40 the rate you're going to want at 1.12 kilohertz, sorry. Uh, and then my you're going to want at 32, so leave that there. Wet you're going to want to bring up to 86. So, if I just see what it sounds like. Yeah, it's sounding pretty good. And obviously, you're going to automate the pitch bend. Uh, the reason isn't specify uh, what what range number amount to have it at is because it's, it's totally up to you and it also depends on how long you're wanting this to rise for you know if it's 15 seconds generally I'd put it on at 7 if it was 30 seconds I'd put it at 14 and if it was any longer you know maybe 21 24 sometimes it just depends Um, so now just add a couple of EQs so first we'll use an M class turn the low cut on Param 1 and Param 2 on. Turn Param 1 down to about, um, maybe about 400, uh, 395 Hz. Bring the gain down to about minus 5.7. And the Q you're going to want to bring down as well to about 3.1 or 2.9.
Um, Param 2, bring the frequency right the way up. And again, you're going to want to bring up as well to about 8.6. And the Q, you're going to want to bring up as well a bit to about 8.4. Then create a digital four chord on. Uh, put the band onto 8 and set it to equalizer so, so uh, audio comes through. And then turn the shift up to 19. And we want to create uh, a digital reverb and a filter. Envelope filter. So change the reverb to. Um, what do we want? Um, low density. There you go. Leave the size, leave the decay. Uh, you want to want to turn the damp up quite a bit to about 96 and bring the dry wet down to about 12. Um, and the filter we're just going to bring up the frequency up to about 101. Then you can use this to automate so uh, to, to give it a kind of smoother sound, automate it low from maybe about 45 and as the synth's rising up, bring it up to 101. Um, along with the pitch band. Um, yeah, so that's all we're using the filter for really. Uh, create a Scream 4 distortion unit. Leave it on overdrive, turn up param 1 to 110. Um, param 2, you're going to want to leave it 30. Turn the body on and change the type to B. Uh, the res, you're going to want to leave, uh, bring down to 63. Um, the scale you're going to want to leave at 40, the auto you're going to want to leave at 0. And then the final couple of things, just to beef the sound up a bit, we're going to use an M class compressor and an uh, M class maximizer. So for the compressor, you're going to want to bring up the input a bit to about 2.8. Um, the thresholds we bring to about 11, minus 11.6 uh, the ratio you're going to want to bring to about 2.58 over 1 um, leave the attack where it is bring the release right up to 600 and leave the output um, then for the, the limiter turn on the 4 second uh, four millisecond look ahead turn up the input to about 2.8 um, the attack you're going to want slow and the release you're going to want to leave it fast and then all we're going to do is turn on soft clip and that's it so if I go oh, if I automate the pitch I'll just bring down what I showed you earlier Um, so what I was saying about the filter was, if you automate it, so. There you have it. Um, one whistle blowing rising pitch uh, synth. Um, obviously you can sidechain it and tweak the EQ so it fits into your track. But that's it for you guys. Thanks very much. See you next time.